Hey everybody, Future Aaron here. Hey, this is the third of three videos where I had a bit of an audio problem when I was recording and unfortunately I didn't catch it until I downloaded the files. And since I was planting things, there's really no way to go reshoot that stuff. In any case, I'm gonna put a time on the screen right here for you where I get to the planting and all the plant names are on the screen. So if you guys don't wanna deal with the bad audio, if it's really bothering you, you can just skip straight to the planting and I think you'll get most of the information that you need there uh, if you don't wanna to listen to the sort of corrupted audio. Thanks for dealing with this, you guys. I think we fixed the problem and hopefully we won't deal with that again. All right, enjoy the video. Here's the urn planting. Hey everyone, Aaron from The Impatient Gardener. Don't you think it's about time we get this urn planted? I sure do too. Okay, so it might look like I've started without you already here. Um, and I have just a little. So our centerpiece for this container is going to be this amazing coffee cups colocasia. It gets these huge leaves and they point up, the water sort of collects in them, hence the name. But like I often do with a centerpiece in this container and other very large containers, I have pre-potted this. I've done my pot in a pot trick. So uh, basically what I've done is, uh, you know, colocasias, they um, really want very rich, moisture retentive soil. In fact, they're actually um, marginal pond plants, so they're fine on the edge of a pond even. But the rest of the plants that are going in here just want really good drainage. You know, they're like normal annuals. So I have um, taken an old nursery pot and I've potted it up in here and I've made a really rich soil with some um, well-rotted manure mixed in there as well as regular potting mix um, so that I can water this give this what it wants and then everything else also gets what they want if i otherwise something's going to sacrifice some on something right so either i'm overwatering the other plants or i'm underwatering this um, and the other nice thing here is that i might try to bring this in for the winter so it's actually going to be really easy to lift this out and just bring it inside if i want to try to overwinter this I have also gone through and filled in here with, um, this is Organics Mechanics Container Blend and some Osmocote fertilizer already worked in because that's not exactly interesting content, right? Okay, so now we're gonna, I'm gonna plant it up and then you guys, um, and I'll put the names up on the screen as I'm planting it so you can kind of see how this comes together. But I'll just give you sort of the background on this, which is that, of course, this is in the middle of the patio bed, which gets a lot of dahlias in it. Um, there's a lot of color going on in here. So I'm actually wanna make sure that I don't do anything to clash with those other colors that are in here. So this is um, a lot of blues, in here purples and um i guess there's some white in here too all right let's get on with it there is a life i lead in this city hurrying to cut my teeth i can take what i need to get by it doesn't make it easy the other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone could take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I knew my will is strong with a place to lean in the moment I hung best belief the other ring of my wrist is gold pairing with the light it holds when I return from my spinning ball I think 
you guys all know, anyone who's ever planted a container, you know it doesn't look its best when you first plant it, um, which is fine. I mean, we want these to grow in, right? So, um, and this, and I would say this scavola has a way of just looking rather unkempt from the get-go, but it gets so beautiful once it's fully in bloom. So the reason I picked most of these plants is I didn't want anything that was gonna obscure, drape way too far down on this beautiful urn that I put in. Um, I didn't want something like, um, you know, like a petunia that would like cover the whole thing. So a lot of these things will just sort of gently um, come over the edge and that will be, I think that'll work well. Um, I expect this coffee cups colocasia to get, you know, four or five feet tall from the top of the container. So I think it's going to be really spectacular. I think all of this will fill in well. And then this is the taller Angelonia. This one gets 30 or 40 inches tall. So that should be right up alongside the colocasia, kind of help bridge the gap there. All right, so that's the inaugural planting of the new urn. But I wanted to quickly show you what I did with the old one because it lives on. Okay, so the old container was this fiberglass urn. It broke several times, we kept patching it, and then last year when I took it apart, it completely broke. So it has a big hole in the bottom, but I have stuck it right in the garden, and I have filled it just with container mix and one gara, gora, gara, and I have put in a whole bunch of salvia argentia, which, um, you know, when it gets big, we'll look, here's, here's one from last year. It's actually starting to flower now, but that's the leaves that it will get. So I think that will be really cool. And then I plant other salvia argentia on this side of the path. So it will, it will mimic that. Oh, hey, one final note I forgot to tell you guys. Um, so that container has one giant hole, maybe like a two inch hole right in the center it goes all the way through to the all the way through the pedestal and then comes out there's a little gap at the base of the pedestal where the water comes out um, but that's the only drainage in it so um, what i covered that with was this this is drywall mesh tape and so i put a layer of that over the hole um, to try to help that keep from getting clogged up with soil which is hopefully that won't be a problem but um, i've used that before to um, Rarely do I have to block holes in containers. I just never feel like it's an issue. But I was worried about this one because it's a long way to go and I don't know what you do if you get a clog in that thing. So that's what I did for this one. All right, so that's it. One more container planted up. I love combining plants and playing around with containers. It's one of my favorite things to do in the garden. And I hope you guys are having a great day in your garden and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Oh, subscribe, like, hit the bell. All those things. All right, now we'll see you soon. Bye.